Report. WJZ continues our special coverage of the investigations into Mayor Pugh. Our team coverage continues now with Alex Dimitrik and a look back at Pugh's political career leading up to these latest developments. And I apologize that I've done something to upset the people. The people of Baltimore. Long before Healthy Holly and the firestorm of controversy surrounding Catherine Pugh's book deals, there was a decade of political climbing. In 1999, she was elected to the city council. In 2005, Republican Governor Bob Ehrlich then appointed Pugh to an open seat in the Maryland House of Delegates. In 2007, she won a seat in the state Senate, eventually rising to majority leader. It is while serving as senator she joined the board overseeing the University of Maryland's medical system, where the first Healthy Holly book deal was made. The run for mayor traces back to the misdemeanor convictions and resignation of Mayor Sheila Dixon in 2010. I want it behind me. You fall from grace from people, but you don't fall from grace from God. Stephanie Rawlings Blake became mayor and defeated Pew in a 2011 challenge. In 2015, Pew was in a crowded primary field virtually tied with Sheila Dixon. Some of the candidates and the comments that they've made on the stage just today are blatant lies. It was really interesting being in this position because I've not been attacked like that before. I look forward to working for all of you. Thank you. After defeating Dixon, she easily won the general election and was handed a city with a soaring murder rate. And then now we got to worry about mm. children being shot. Congratulations. She fired one police commissioner and appointed Daryl D'Souza, whose failure to pay taxes ended with a 10-month prison sentence. She then guided Michael Harrison into the top cop role, hoping to turn a troubled department and city around. In her inauguration speech three years earlier, she stressed confidence. Because I believe that everything that I've done to this moment has prepared me for this particular point in time. But times change. Instead of stepping up, Pew stepped away on a medical leave of absence as controversies continued to grow, along with calls for her resignation from the entire Baltimore City Council. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.